Now, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like y'all did, man. I, now, I want to I ask you about some of the Soldier Slim lyrics. Like, um, when he uh, he mentioned a guy named Eric Maurice in there. Was Eric Maurice a hot boy or, or was he just, yo, know, old homie? How was y'all relationship? Let me tell you something, bro. Eric Maurice, cold step a gangster, right? Um, when I first broke out of juvenile jail, I always tell people that was my first hit I took. But actually, it was bro now, you know, but Eric Maurice hadn't got in my head, bro. And I was talking, you know, I just broke out of juvenile jail. So my mind was like, man, listen, I'm ready to crush something, trying to, you know, because I knew who he was. You know, so I already knew his reputation and all that, right? So, so my mind was, I got to prove to the big dog that, I, that I'm cut like that, that I, you know, I spend the bin too. So... I didn't know that he was paid to take a hit. But he gave me the Mac 11 and sent me on a mission to do it. So when I went and hit the dude up, the dude ran the hallway. So as I ran up behind him, when I went to stand over him, this pretty lady come out the house. Older lady, old enough to be my mother. Real beautiful though. She was like, baby, don't do it. And I looked at her, looked at him, and I ran out the hallway. Um. Three, year, three years later, I wind up having sex with that lady. Three years later, bro, but, um, yeah, so. That's crazy. Hold on, hold on. So, the lady, uh, did she remember you from that incident, or you was masked up? No, nah, we never, we didn't do the mask back then. Um, well, sometimes they did it, but she lived right, like, on the same block with my mother, right across the street. Like, she could, she could come on her porch and look and see my porch in the project. She just was an old gangster. That's just how she used to rock, bro, but yeah, man, pretty lady, too long, had that little long, pretty hair, man, she was bad, bro, but she stopped me, and now let me show you something. I didn't know this guy, right? So when I broke out of juvenile jail, I got caught. I gave a fake name, went back to juvenile, they, they made a stick and released me. Now I get caught again with a gun in the project. This is in 92. I hit the dude up in 91, this is 92. I give my real name, but I give a fake date of birth. I go to the adult jail. While I'm in adult prison, I don't know that he's downstairs from me telling the people the story, what happened. I left him with a colostomy bag on, right? So I got COs coming up there, well, the gangsta, I'm like, what's up? All right, females and all, I'm thinking they digging me, right? But they want to see my face because they want to know who had the heart to shoot this guy that's downstairs because he got the people thinking he's this tough guy. Cause he been locked up a long time and back and forth in and out of jail. He was, he was older than I was, so um, we had went outside for like a jazz fest in the jail back then. And, I, and like I said, I had forgot how he looked here at the bush. So he was telling this big old black dude, he was like, "Let gangster on the sixth floor shot me." So I'm, and and one of my homies, he just did thirty three years, just got out of Angola uh, like two three months ago. He was like, uh, "Hey yo, old boy, who you shot? There you go over there." So I look up. I got a green shirt and this old man got a green shirt. So he's telling his homeboy, hey, he said, um, he said, uh, the dude on the sixth floor, the gangster shot me. So I'm reading his lips and a big dude, I look up and he like leaning over me. He like, all right, I got you. So I'm thinking, well, this dude here older than I am, that he around the age, he might be thinking it's him and gonna jump on him when we get upstairs, right? So. I was in cell two, he was in cell one, it was a 10-man cell. We on this side and they got a side over here where my partner Juvie, we used to call him Juvie, from out the night wall, he on this side, but he telling me he gonna help me fight the guy. But the problem is when we go upstairs, he gotta go on this side of the, of the, of the tier and I'm stuck on this side with this dude. So what I did was when we went upstairs, I stayed out in the hallway because I was like, if we get to fighting, the CEO gonna come and break us up because this is a big guy. But I can't show no fear. So I stayed out in the hallway. While I'm out in the hallway, he come up and went in his cell and locked the door. I was like, all right, cool. I go in my cell, lock the door. So they don't land, I'm, I'm up, I'm at the uh at the bars writing a letter. He walk, they let him out. The cell, he come out and say, he said, hey, you look gangster? I said, yeah. He said, oh, you shot such and such? I said, yeah. He was like, man, I like you, man. You got hard. I was like, yeah, I shot him. What's up? So me and him just started talking, we got cool. He had like 60 days in the hole, and back then, if you had a lot of time in the hole, what they would do is they would let you up for one day 
what they call one day a breathe air or whatever, then you got to go back to the hole to finish the rest of your time. So the next morning when he had to go back to the hole, he had me for the, a three-way call. So I called my people, called his number on three-way. So he, he gave me the number. I said, this number sound familiar. He asked for a female named Tabitha. They talking, get a, yeah, man. Then I realized, man, that's one of my little girlfriends. So now I want to fight him now. But I really don't want to fight him because he's big, you know what I'm saying? But I'm mad because this is a girl that living in a project, in a McNamee project, and you older than I am, what you doing with her, number one? Number two, this is my girlfriend. This is a girl who writing, we writing each other right now, back and forth, you know? And then the, the, then the pull, how do you say, pull, pull the salt on the injury, I never had sex with her yet. He huh? he telling me how freaky she is and all that, so I'm, I'm mad, man. I was mad as hell. Hey, yo, when I went home, I stopped messing with her, bro. I just cut her off, man. Yeah. But uh, but Eric Maurice, bro, he was one of them dudes, like, he be, I'm Eric Maurice. I'm Eric Stomp his feet, but cold gunslinger, man. Cold gunslinger, man. He he got some stories too, you know. He was dressed up like a clown in the project and, 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 and crushed something. But yeah, he um that was the first person I witnessed when I broke out of juvenile jail, crushed somebody right in front of me. They were playing around. He was like, they was just cool, laughing. He just hit his head. Boom. I was like, whoa. He had a hit out on that dude. And Eric did it right there in front. That's what I'm saying. It, didn't, it wasn't mass back then. You know, it was like, I'm going to let it be known. Y'all did this. You know? That's